Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be discussing the respiratory system and this is going to be a series of videos just showing um, various aspects of the respiratory system in a bit more depth in each video. In the first video however I just want to talk about a quick um, sort of introduction to the respiratory system and I've included a image here which you can see and the reason why I like this image is not only does it include um, the lungs and the diaphragm as part of the respiratory system but it also includes um, the oral cavity and you can see there's a nice picture here showing the alveoli um, in a bit more detail so you can see here is the alveoli and you can see a very dense uh, structure of blood vessels here and this is very important in terms of the gas exchange but we're going to learn about this uh, in a bit more detail now I just want to give you a quick quick overview so we have the function of the respiratory system uh, as ventilation and gas exchange. Now ventilation is basically the actual mechanical movement of air inside and outside of the lung. So it's basically the, the, the way that the lungs can draw air inside and push air back outside. And gas exchange is the process of um, the body being able to exchange um, oxygen from the high concentration in the lungs because we've just um, inhaled it and the uh, release of carbon dioxide from the pulmonary vessels um, because they, they will have a high concentration of carbon dioxide and it's able to allow that carbon dioxide to diffuse out into the lungs so it can be uh, exhaled. So the respiratory system we can divide it into two two parts so we have the respiratory zone and this is where gas exchange occurs and we have the conducting zone as well and this is all the anatomical structures which air can pass through before it reaches the respiratory zone so an example can be uh, the uh, trachea is part of the conducting zone because it's not where the gas exchange actually occurs but it is one of the structures where where which air will pass through. <clears throat> so finally, just to finish off the video, we're going to talk about ventilation again very quickly. And it, like I said, it's the mechanical process of moving air in and out of the lungs. And its purpose is to ensure that there is a high concentration of oxygen in the lungs compared to the blood. So what's going to happen is oxygen will then be able to move from a high to low concentration from the lungs into the blood. And it also ensures there is a low concentration of carbon dioxide in the lungs so it can be removed from the blood where there is a high concentration of carbon dioxide and then so forth it's removed from the lungs and just a quick note now would be a perfect time to check out my video on diffusion I've explained it very very easily in just five minutes so I'll link a I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that video out if you're not sure about the processes of diffusion. So the processes of this gas exchange is via diffusion. It occurs very rapidly due to a high surface area of the lungs, a very short diffusion pathway and a high concentration gradient. So I hope that you find this video useful. It was just a very quick uh, video today, just briefly introducing you to the respiratory system. And uh, the videos following on from this will include um, more information about the alveoli, this capillary bed, which you can see in this image here. And yeah, that's everything. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this video was useful.